Hey, it's Dana. So I was debating what the hell to film today and if you noticed in my last video I've just kind of been going through some stuff so I haven't really been in the mood to film at all. So I just thought what the fuck to film today and then I realised oh, this is an easy topic for me to talk about because it's something that I'm like having to walk myself through right now anyway because it really does help get you out of bad moods and out of like toxic emotions kind of thing because it's so easy to get stuck there and I have got stuck there many many times but I think that I've realized that can really shift your mood in an instant is gratitude and I know like everybody talks about gratitude and it's kind of an obvious thing but when you're in those lower emotions it can be really really like really hard to think of things that you're actually grateful for like the thought of even trying to focus on those things doesn't really come into your mind because you're so caught up in the sadness or the pain or the suffering or whatever it is that you're dealing with you know or so busy focusing on trying to find solutions and like how to fix your problem and how to change your circumstance so gratitude is probably not even on your mind but when you take those minutes to just like let go of the physical world let go of this person that you've come to be let go of like your surroundings in the physical reality and like literally go into your mind and hear the stories it's saying and then like try to bring it to things that you're grateful for and things that you appreciate and things that are going right and things that you do love it will change your life even when you're in a good mood if you go and do this like the level of spark that it ignites inside of you is crazy and I'm speaking from my own experiences like it's just something that I'm noticing the difference of on the days where I don't do it where I don't think about things that I'm grateful for and I don't like affirm my gratitude I notice the difference in my mood and also like you, once you start thinking of things that you're grateful for, it triggers a whole train of thought. You then think of more things. So, like, it dawned on me as well that of all the people that I could be, this is the vessel that I got. Like, this is the life that I am here to live in this one lifetime, you know. Like, of all the people that you could possibly be, you get to be you, you know. Because nobody else has the same vessel as you at all nobody not even twins they share completely separate vessels and they don't look exactly 100% alike you know like everybody has their own vessel with their own personality traits their own ego their own karmic lessons their own flaws their own everything you know and of all the people that you could possibly be of all the vessels that you could have incarnated into you know of all of the parents of all of the circumstances of all of the everything any possible any possibility that you can think of this is the one that you got and of course that can have some negative to it but when you look at the positive like you get to be you and nobody else gets to be that nobody you know, like you get to be you. This is the life that you get to live. You get to come here and experience life from your perspective, you know, and that's so, so powerful. And when you start to notice those things and notice the blessings that you do have, because your blessings will look completely different to anybody else's, you know, we all have completely different circumstances, completely different upbringings. So there's so many things that you could be grateful for. The list is literally infinite you know because even if you don't have anything in your physical surroundings like even if you've had the worst childhood possible even if I don't know like any kind of circumstance whatever it is that you're dealing with even if it's absolute shit there's still something that you can be grateful for like literally being alive you know having a vessel that kind of thing there's always something I feel like the list is just infinite it really really is and the more you start noticing certain things and start appreciating certain things newer ideas and like more things to be grateful for I can't even speak right now my mind just went really blank mid-sentence <laughs> But the more that you pay attention to the things that 
are blessings in your life, the more that you start to notice even more blessings and then more blessings start to come in, you know, like it's such a cycle because your mind really does create your reality and it really does manifest things that you want. And of course there's things that you would want to change, like maybe you don't like your vessel, maybe you're not happy with certain circumstances or maybe you didn't have a good relationship with your parents, like of course not everything is going to be completely perfect but at the end of the day like this is all for you, it's all for a reason, it's all a part of your path and a part of your journey and even when you can't see it, even when you don't understand why it's happening or what's going to happen next, like what the next step is, even when your whole life could be completely falling down around you, like everything is for you you know, everything is literally for you, I can't even like express that enough, because we all go through things, and I can sit here talking about this shit, but you don't know anything that I've been through, you know, and I don't know anything that you've been through, but at the end of the day, like, it's all for us, it's something that we agreed to before we came here, because we are so, so, so much bigger than just this one lifetime, this one vessel on this one plane of existence, you know, like, this shit is wild, it's bigger than what you can comprehend because we are bigger than what we can comprehend in this human experience, you know? So, I know, I just think once you start to appreciate being alive and appreciate what you do have and appreciate who you actually are, like really loving who you are, your whole perspective, your whole outlook on your life will change and then you'll make better choices, like you'll try to create the life that you do want, you'll feel confident enough in yourself to go after your dreams, which will be a completely different reality to if you stayed completely like unhappy and ungrateful, you know, then maybe you wouldn't make certain choices if you stayed in that mental state, so it really does shift your mind and then that shit... <laughs> It really does shift your mind and then that shifts the action that you'll take, you know. So I just think gratitude is key and it's infinite, infinite amounts of things that you can be grateful for. And I know it's really, really hard to go there sometimes when you are suffering and when you are dealing with something negative. But even if you just think of one thing, the next thing will come to you because it just kind of spirals like that, you know, so... Yeah, I just want to, I'm feeling quite grateful because I started my morning saying all the things I'm grateful for. So, yeah, it just changes your outlook on life. So definitely start to do that if you're feeling a bit shitty and you need some kind of like thing to lift your mood. Definitely look at all of the amazing things that you do have because there are many, many things that you do have. Many. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. All my links to everything, social media and my music and everything like that will be in the description box below. And definitely leave me any comments if you have, well, leave some things that you're grateful for. That would be cool. I'd love to read them. And you can also leave comments down below if you have any video topics that you want me to talk about. I would definitely make those. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man I